So this video was deceptively difficult. I had to go back, go through hundreds of the old articles and videos, make sure I wasn't rehashing the same information. But in today's video, gentlemen, five style tips I have never shared before. Tip number one, look for the stretch. We're talking lycra, spandex, elastane, whatever you want to call it. I'm looking for two to 5% in my jeans and in my t-shirts. This helps them maintain the shape after multiple washes and wears. And it's also going to make them feel better, especially if you've got hard to fit areas, maybe in your chest, maybe you've got a, you know, kind of a slim torso, maybe you've got large buttocks, large waist, whatever it may be, large thighs, a little bit of stretch is going to make them fit better and is going to keep the shape. Tip number two, gentlemen, shave your sweater. I'm serious about this. Take a disposable razor and when your sweater starts to look worn, it starts to peel, basically you've got this excess fabric coming off, you just take a disposable razor over it. It'll take you five minutes and you get a sweater that looks almost like new. All right, gentlemen, bonus tip. I've said this one before, so I'm not going to include it in the five, but wear a unique accessory that's a great conversation starter. Basically, you want to have something when people see it, they're like, wow, I've never seen anything like that. Tell me the story or it just starts the conversation. Now, let me pull up Original Grain. I've talked about these guys before. They have been a sponsor for well over a year, but I don't think I've ever talked about the story about Ryan and Andrew. These are two brothers that came together on Kickstarter and in 30 days raised almost $400,000 back in 2013. At that time, that was one of Kickstarter's most successful launches ever. And the reason this was successful is they put out a great product. They came and they wanted to create a new category of watches, something that was using exotic hardwoods with stainless steel. It was a minimalist design. They really wanted something that wasn't cookie cutter that was going to stand out. Now, go through their website. Check out the four different unique collections. I want you guys to let me know down in the comments which ones you love. As you know, if I get extra watches, I love sending them your way, but I want you to go check out their website, be specific about which one you're in love with. And just a few of the details, they ship worldwide for free. We're talking 316L stainless steel, Japanese Moyota quartz movement. They're good watches for the price, especially in this particular category, which they are pioneers. Tip number three, gentlemen, use layering to hide imperfections in your clothing. Here's the scenario. You're late for work. You go into your closet and your favorite dress shirts, they're all at the cleaners or they're in the dirty laundry hamper. You basically have nothing to wear except that dress shirt that you haven't had adjusted, doesn't fit you very well, is wrinkled. What are you going to do? Okay. Take that dress shirt out. Look at it. Is the collar good to go? Are the cuffs good to go? Okay. If they are, put on a V-neck sweater. Boom. You've pretty much, you are good to go. And the best part about this, if the V-neck sweater fits you well as it should, all of a sudden it's going to bring in and it's going to make that bad fit look like a good fit. But let's say the shirt is really, it's a bad fit. Tons of excess material here. You need to get that to a tailor. Well, you don't have time. You got to get out the door here in two minutes. Throw on a well-fitted undershirt on top of the dress shirt. Yes. Then throw on the V-neck. This is also going to hide the buttons, but it's going to take all that excess material. It's going to bring it close to the body. It's going to keep there. And for this day, you'll be able to get by. Now, make sure to take your clothing to the cleaners to get it adjusted, whether it be with a tailor, with a seamstress, whoever. Very simple to add darts to the back of a shirt to make it look better. But if you need an immediate fix, this tip is going to serve you well. My next tip is to wear your best fitted clothing when you go shopping. Why? Because whenever you go into the dressing room, you can simply take off those jeans, you can take off that shirt, you can lay it out, and all of those shirts that you want to try on, all of those jeans that you want to try on, instead of having to spend all that time trying them on, you can simply put them on top of the clothing you were just wearing and very quickly determine, wow, I'm not going to fit into those jeans because it's going to be too tight in the thighs or those are way larger than the 32, 32, I mean, that I'm used to wearing. Medium from one brand is not the same as medium in another, but how your clothing fits, especially if it's your best fitted clothing, you'll know that and you'll be able to compare apples to apples and say, you know what? I like the look and the feel of these, but it's just got a little bit too tight or it's a little bit too loose or I found gold and then you buy multiples. So my next tip here is another shopping tip. And this is if you've got two items that look very similar, you can't make a decision between the two. Let's say they're priced about the same. You like them both. You only need one of them though. You're not going to buy multiples here. Two great looking blazer jackets. Okay. What you do is you look on the inside, the design, the attention to detail, the craftsmanship on the inside of the clothing is a very 
very easy way to quickly determine the quality. It's a designer's calling card. So if you turn out those shirts, those jeans inside out and the stitching on one is really bad, on the other one, it's very carefully done. There aren't excess threads coming off. Go with that one because it's a signal of higher quality. All right, gentlemen, bonus tip. So if you're about to go into that dressing room, look around, grab one more item that is going to push the envelope for you. Something a little bit edgy, maybe something a little bit fashionable, something in a color that you wouldn't normally wear, whether it be jeans, whether it be a shirt, whether it be a jacket. Try it on. Try on that pair of shoes, which you wouldn't normally try. It looks a little bit maybe too fashion forward. But here's the deal. is past a certain point, we stop experimenting. We, As men, we get into this comfort zone. You want to occasionally push yourself outside of that because you may surprise yourself and find that you look really great in that particular pair of shoes or in that shirt. All right, gentlemen, now it's your turn. So if you caught on one of these style points, Antonio, I remember three years ago, you talked about this in one of your videos. Let me know down in the comments and go check out Original Gray, a great sponsor. They've been sponsoring my channel for over a year. Great watches. And let me know in particular which watch design. You would love to have sent you wakes if I have extras. I always try to go down there in the comments and occasionally choose a winner, send it out to you guys. Thank you so much for all your support, for checking out my channel. Guys, you know we've been growing a lot lately in the last couple months, and it's you. It's you sharing this channel with your friends, with those around you who can use this information. I really do appreciate it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.